Welcome to the Rusted Garden. To, today I'm going to talk to you about what the pH level means in your vegetable garden and how do you measure it. pH measures the acidity and the alkalinity in your soil. Acidity is an acid like vinegar. Alkalinity is a base, uh, sort of like um, uh, baking soda. Sometimes acidic soils are called sour. Alkaline soils are called sweet. But what you're measuring is the acidity or the alkalinity in your soil. And pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 14. 0 means it's more acidic, 14 means it's more alkaline, and you sort of want a, a, a pH level of 6 to 7 for a vegetable garden. 7 is neutral. Now pH in vegetables, they grow best within a specific range, and like I said, 6 to 7. If you look up online, you'll see vegetables grow best between probably 5.5 and 7.5, but when you're testing your garden and you're testing your soil, you want somewhere really between 6 and 7. 6.5 would be perfect. And what is pH? pH is actually a measure of hydrogen ion concentration in your garden soil. And there's a trick. The trick is, is that it's measured in a solution. Um, and a key to an accurate reading is making sure that you create sort of mud or a solution for these digital meters to work. I'm not um, doing a test on whether or not this digital meter is a good meter or not. I'm just showing you how to set up the testing when you're using uh, digital pH meters. The first thing you want to do is use water that's not straight from the tap. You want to use rainwater or you want to let your water sit out for a good 24 hours. The next thing you want to do is when you're collecting your garden soil is you want it in a container that's about four or five inches deep but you want to take off the first two inches of soil in your garden and then fill this up with uh, soil out of the garden um, that's below that two inch level. You want to get to the deeper part of the, of the garden soil and then you want to really mix it up to a, con a consistency that it's like mud. These digital meters work uh, by putting in a, a light electrical current from the tip uh, through here so it makes a reading uh, with electricity and it has to be a liquid or this just isn't going to work. So you make sure that your soil has a consistency of mud and I've already tested this and it's coming out at seven. I'll get back to that one in a second. This is just pure peat moss over here. This is a uh, peat moss that I uh, amend my soils with and this has been this batch here has been sitting in my yard for about eight weeks and it's been getting rained on. This batch here is fresh out of a bag that I just bought today. So to, to test it, you turn it on. It's always good to start at seven. Again, you want to make sure you have liquid in here so that the digital meters work and just drop it in. And you can see it's dropping down to 5.6 right at this point. And the best thing to do, oh, one thing I did forget, is once you add water to these and you make them kind of like mud, let them sit for about an hour. Let them do whatever chemical stuff they're going to do and then measure it about an hour later. And also measure it three times. After I did this three times, the average for this came out to 5.6. Once you're done with measuring one batch, you want to make sure you clean the meter off and then you can go shut it off, turn it on, and then put it into the next one. And you can see that this is dropping down. It's at 6.2, 6.1. And you leave it in here for a minute, take whatever measure it is, do it three times, add up those three measures, divide it by three. So this is 5.6, 5.8. And this is my garden soil. Again, shut it off, turn it on, and when I put it in there, it jumps up to 7.9, 7.5, 7.0, and it stays there. And that might make sense because over the last 10 years, I've used a lot of lime in my garden. And the pH is at 7. Now, I'm going to want to bring that down, actually. I want my pH to be about 6.5. I'm going to test my soil with a couple different meters because I'm not, I can't, you know, attest that this is a great meter and it's accurate, but it looks like it's working. Now this is water straight from the tap and I added some baking soda to it. And watch when I put this in there, 
you get to see the level jumps up to 9.3, 9.2, 9.0, and it'll work its way down. But the baking soda raised the alkalinity of the water. But this is how you use a, a digital thermometer, and this is how you set up a soil test using a digital thermometer. You have to make sure that your soil that you're testing or the product that you're testing is filled with water or the meter's just not going to work. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other blogs at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my other YouTube videos. Thanks.